Hi, welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we shall be discussing how to answer oral English test 7 for full marks. Test 7 Test 7 focuses on intonation. Intonation refers to the rise and fall of a person's voice when speaking. Candidates should therefore take note of the rise and fall of the speaker's voices when answering questions in test 7. In test 7, you will hear a short conversation between a man and a woman. The candidate is expected to detect which of the speakers in the conversation is rude or polite, angry or not angry, certain or uncertain. The candidate can do this by paying close attention to the rise and fall of the speaker's voices when speaking. Tip. When the voice of any of the speakers falls, it means that he or she is sure of what is being said. I take that again. When the voice of any of the speakers falls, it means that he or she is sure of what is being said. For example, when the speaker says, he said the exercise was well done. This means that the speaker is sure of what is being said or the speaker is certain. This is because there is a fall in the speaker's voice at the end of the sentence. But when the voice of the speaker rises suddenly, as if the person is asking a question, then the speaker is not sure of what is being said. In other words, the speaker is uncertain or doubtful. For example, he said the exercise was well done. This means that the speaker is not sure of what is being said. The speaker is doubtful or the speaker is uncertain. Let's take note of another tip. When one or both of the speaker's voices are rough, it means that he or she or both of the speakers are angry, rude, disrespectful, or impolite. For example, give me a cup of water. This means that the speaker is angry, rude, or disrespectful. But when the voice of any of the speakers is soft, then he or she is polite or respectful. For example, please give me a cup of water. Let's have some more examples. This is a conversation between a man and a woman. He proudly displayed our culture. He did. He proudly displayed our culture. He did. Here are the options. The man is certain, the woman is not. The woman is certain, the man is not. Both are certain. The correct answer is option C. Both are certain. Example 2. Dan is crying. He is. The correct answer is option A. The man is not sure. The woman is. Now let's proceed to answer the rest of test 7. Test 7. You are now going to hear some short conversations. After each conversation, read the three statements on your question paper and decide which of them is correct. Share the appropriate space on your answer sheet. Here is an example. He said the exercise was well done. That's what he said. Both are doubtful as to whether the exercise was well done. The correct answer is, therefore, statement C. This is recorded by Shade and Answer Space C. Now get ready to answer the rest of test 7 on your answer sheet. Start at number 53. Number 53. Look, it's a plane crash. That isn't my problem. Would you care for some water? I'm okay, thank you. The rains will come today. Yes, I will not be surprised if it rains today. It is cloudy. They say his sky is beautiful. That's what they say. 